For most of the network's existence until 2011, in regard to children's programming, the American Broadcasting Company ABC has aired mostly programming from Walt Disney Television or other producers, most notably, Hanna-Barbera Productions and Dick Entertainment. This article outlines the history of children's television programming on ABC including the various blocks and notable programs that have aired throughout the television network's history. Topic: History. Topic: The Schoolhouse Rock era, 1973 to 1997. The crown jewel of the network's children's programming lineup was the award-winning Schoolhouse Rock, series of educational shorts, which mixed original songs and animation with lessons on basic school subjects such as mathematics, science and history. The series aired from 1973 to 1985, before going on what turned out to be a temporary hiatus prior to its return to ABC's Saturday morning schedule in 1992. New episodes concerning money were released from 1994 to 1996. Schoolhouse Rock, was one of several animated interstitials that aired during this era, others included Time for Timer and The Bod Squad, both of which were discontinued in the 1980s. From 1992 to 1995, during the latter half of the show's run, and for at most until a year after it was cancelled, short 30-second segments from America's Funniest People, a spin-off of the long-running America's Funniest Home videos, which were branded as America's Funniest Kids, ran within commercial breaks during the ABC Saturday morning lineup. These would usually consist of excerpts from longer segments, usually featuring young children telling jokes or engaging in stunts. Topic: More Cool TV, 1991-1992. At the start of the 1991-92 season, around the same time that ABC launched I Love Saturday Night, a block that was inspired by the success of ABC's Friday night TGIF sitcom block the former of which ultimately ended after several weeks due to low ratings, executive producer, TGIF creator Jim Unicek also brought the hosted programming block concept to Saturday mornings, under the brand MCTV More Cool TV. Stars from live action series aired as part of the Saturday morning lineup, most notably including the cast of ABC's Land of the Lost Revival, hosted interstitials every half hour during the block. The MCTV segments at times were several seconds shorter than those shot for TGIF and I Love Saturday Night. While an opening sequence and custom last segment show bumpers were included, the theme music used was the instrumental version of ABC's 1991 America's Watching Campaign. The MCTV concept was soon abandoned, although not as quickly as I Love Saturday Night. Topic: <laughs> Disney's One Saturday Morning, 1997 to 2002. The merger of Capital Cities Communications which purchased ABC in 1986 into the Walt Disney Company in 1996 marked a shift in the network's Saturday morning cartoon output. The merger resulted in Disney increasing the amount of programming content it produced for the network, including in regards to children's programming. Prior to this, most of Disney's animated programming originated on either CBS, with which the studio had a working relationship prior to its purchase of ABC, or Disney's syndicated block, The Disney Afternoon. After Disney formally took over ABC's operations, the company's president and CEO Michael Eisner sought to create a Saturday morning block that was different from those carried by its competitors at the time, recruiting Peter Hastings, who had left Warner Bros. Animation in a dispute over the creative direction of Animaniacs and Pinky and the Brain, which he had both written for, to help overhaul ABC's Saturday morning lineup. The concept that was developed revolved around the idea that Saturday is different from every other day of the week. Hastings also came up with the idea of utilizing virtual set technology for the hosted interstitial segments. The concept debuted as Disney's One Saturday Morning on September 13, 1997, formatted as a two hour sub block before expanding to become the sole brand for the Saturday morning lineup in 1998 that originally featured some programs that had already aired on the co existing ABC Saturday morning lineup and incorporated live action and animated interstitials. It was originally scheduled to premiere on September 6, but was delayed by one week due to ABC News coverage of the funeral of Princess Diana, a news event which resulted in CBS and NBC preempting their children's programming blocks that day. Disney would later create a spin-off block, Disney's One Two, which debuted on UPN on September 6, 1999, which featured many of the programs shown on one Saturday morning. The hosted and animated segments were dropped from the ABC block in 2000 in a reformatting of the ABC block due to low ratings. 
During one Saturday morning's intro sequence as well as the opening titles of programs during the network's Saturday morning block, a tiny lightbulb icon appeared in a bottom corner of the screen which during programs, often occurred during a static frame at the end of the program's title sequence with an announcer reading, Illuminating Television, in reference to the educational programming content within the block. Various animations in which the lightbulb was removed from the screen occurred after the bulb's chain was pulled by a hand, differing depending on the program such as the lightbulb turning into a rocket, falling into a garbage can or jumping in a pool. The icon continued to be used after the rebranding to ABC Kids until 2004, when it was replaced by an E.I. icon adorned on a mortarboard hat and a three-dimensional ball version of the ABC logo. Topic. ABC Kids 2002 to 2011. In 2001, ABC entered into a program distribution agreement with sister network Disney Channel to air its original programming as part of the network's Saturday morning lineup. As a result, live-action series were added to the one Saturday morning lineup that September as part of the newly created Zugawa. An hour-long sub-block, named after the cable channel's weekend programming block at the time, Zoog Disney, featuring the Disney Channel sitcoms Lizzie McGuire and Even Stevens, the programming agreement occasionally extended to broadcasts of Disney Channel's made-for-TV movies as part of the wonderful world of Disney between 2002 and 2008. On September 14, 2002, one Saturday morning was rebranded as ABC Kids. Upon the relaunch of the block, in addition to the Disney Channel series, ABC Kids contained two original series, Timo Supremo and Fillmore, and reruns of a former One Saturday Morning series, Recess. ABC also acquired the rights to NBA Inside Stuff through the network's acquisition of broadcast television rights to the NBA from NBC, where the series originally premiered in 1992, which aired alongside the ABC Kids block during the 2002-03 and 2003-04 seasons, before being replaced by NBA Access for the 2004-05 season. NBA Inside Stuff would return on NBA TV in 2013. However, in September 2003, reruns of Disney Channel original live action and animated series with shows such as Kim Possible, The Proud Family and That's So Raven joining Lizzie McGuire and Even Stevens came to dominate the lineup. To comply with the Children's Television Act, ABC chose to carry only select episodes of Disney Channel series featuring moral lessons and or educational anecdotes. ABC Kids ceased to import new Disney Channel series onto its schedule after the 2006-07 season, when Hannah Montana, The Emperor's New School and The Replacements were added to the block. As a result, the block outside of Power Rangers relied entirely on repeats of the channel's shows that first aired on ABC Kids between September 2005 and May 2007 for the remaining three years of its run all of which, most notably That's So Raven, were out of production by September 2011. Topic. Power Rangers The Walt Disney Company acquired the rights to the Power Rangers franchise after its purchase of Fox Kids Worldwide in 2001, which included the rights to the majority of the program libraries of Fox Kids, and the outright purchase of the production studio behind Power Rangers and Fox Kids Worldwide part owner Saban Entertainment. The purchase was primarily designed to acquire the Fox Family Channel, which was rebranded as ABC Family following the sales completion. The series moved to the ABC Kids block from Fox Kids in September 2002, at which time, Fox replaced Fox Kids with the four Kids Entertainment produced Block 4 Kids TV, midway through the Wild Force season, with all first-run episodes from the franchise's Wild Force and Ninja Storm seasons that premiered on ABC Kids starting with the Wild Force episode, Unfinished Business, the first to air on ABC subsequently airing in reruns on ABC Family. The five seasons that subsequently followed, from Dino Thunder to Jungle Fury, had their first-run episodes debut on Jetix, a block that originated on ABC Family and later expanded and shifted to a block on Toon Disney, which carried most of the episodes and air in reruns on ABC Kids. The RPM season, the final season to air on a Disney television property, aired exclusively on ABC Kids, after which ABC cancelled production of the series. ABC subsequently rerun the first season of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, reversioned with an updated title sequence, for the 2009-10 season. With increased regulation of federally mandated educational programming guidelines, some of the network's affiliate groups, primarily Hearst Television and the All Britain Communications Company, refused to carry Power Rangers or any other series on the ABC Kids lineup that did not fulfill E.I. requirements such as Kim Possible in order to instead free up the time to air locally produced programming. 
However, some stations aired these shows on tape delay, shifting them to either very early in the morning on Saturdays or to Sundays, often before local newscasts, Good Morning America and all that week's live portion of the ABC Kids block began. Power Rangers ended its run on ABC Kids in 2010 after Haim Saban repurchased the franchise's intellectual rights in May 2010 from Disney and leased the broadcast rights to Nickelodeon, which began airing new seasons and repeat episodes of the series starting in 2011. Topic: <laughs> Litton's Weekend Adventure 2011 present. In early 2011, ABC decided that it would no longer provide E.I. compliant programming as part of its Saturday morning network lineup to its affiliates, with the network's affiliate board agreeing to seek a syndication package that would air exclusively on ABC-owned and operated and affiliate stations. On May 24, ABC announced a time lease agreement with Lytton Entertainment to produce a new Saturday morning block, originally titled ABC Weekend Adventure, which was subsequently renamed Lytton's Weekend Adventure, prior to its debut on September 3, 2011, ending the entirety of conventional children's programming, animated or otherwise, airing on ABC. The block, designed by Lytton to counter programming the then traditional Saturday morning fare of animated and live action scripted series, features unscripted and pro social programming. However the block is not structured as a conventional Saturday morning lineup, in that purchased advertisements within the block are commercials that would otherwise be targeted at the 18-49 demographic and shows within the block, while educational in nature, are marketed for a family audience, although intended to be aimed at teenagers ages 13-16 rather than just children. <laughs> Topic. Programming Topic. Scheduling issues Programs featured on the current Lytton's Weekend Adventure lineup are designed to meet federally mandated educational programming guidelines. However, as with its predecessor network program blocks, programs may be deferred to Sunday daytime slots, or in the case of affiliates in the Western United States, Saturday afternoons due to breaking news or severe weather coverage, or more commonly, regional or select national sports telecasts, especially in the case of college football games, scheduled in earlier Saturday time slots as make goods to comply with the EI regulations. Some stations may air the entirety of the weekend adventure block on tape delay to accommodate local news or other programs of local interest such as public affairs shows, real estate or lifestyle programs. Honolulu affiliate KITV Channel 4 aired programs within the former ABC Kids and the current weekend adventure lineups over three weekdays Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, with two programs airing each day from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m., preceding the ABC daytime lineup in particular, the network's soap operas prior to 2012. This scheduling is used only in the event of Saturday afternoon sports telecasts broadcast by ABC, which due to the time difference between the Hawaii Aleutian time zone and the United States mainland, may air live as early as five hours behind the game's airtime in the Eastern time zone, or six hours during daylight saving time, as Hawaii runs on standard time year-round, effectively preempting ABC Kids programs from their regular time slots and forcing the shows to air elsewhere on the station's schedule. This is particularly true of late morning and primetime college football games aired during the fall, for instance a college football game with a 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time kickoff would air in Hawaii at 9.30 a.m. Hawaii Aleutian Time. During the college football season, ABC affiliates in the western U.S. will often realign programming for college football telecasts that have a 9 a.m. Pacific Time start as a noon Eastern Time game is often scheduled. Some affiliates move the ABC Kids programming to Sunday mornings something that is still sometimes the case with the weekend adventure lineup, however until all Sunday afternoon NASCAR races moved to ESPN in 2010, this usually preempted the pre-race show ESPN NASCAR Countdown. <laughs> <laughs> List of programs 101 Dalmatians, the series 1997-1999 the ABC Saturday Superstar Movie 1972 to 1974 ABC Weekend Specials 1977 to 1997 Acrobat Ranch 1950-1951 The Adams Family 1992 to 1995 The Adventures of Gulliver 1968 to 1970 Adventures of the Gummy Bears 1989-1990 Aliens in the Family 1996 the All New Pink Panther Show, 1978-1979. American Bandstand, 1957 to 1987. 
Animals, 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 1976 to 1981. Animal Crackups, 1987 to 1990. Annie Oakley, 1964, 1965. Reruns of the 1954 to 1957 primetime series. Beanie and Cecil 1962 to 1968 1988 The Beatles 1965 to 1969 Beetlejuice 1989 to 1992 Bewitched 1971 to 1973 reruns of the 1964 to 1972 primetime series Bone Chillers 1996 1997 The Brady Kids 1972 to 1974 Buffalo Bill Jr. 1964-1965, reruns of the 1955-1956 primetime series. The Bugs Bunny Show and Later Incarnations 1960-1968, 1973-1975, 1985-2000. Bump in the Night, 1994-1996. Buzz Lightyear of Star Command 2000-2001. The Buzz on Maggie 2005-2006, reruns of Disney Channel series Capital Critters 1992. Captain Caveman and the Teen Angels 1977-1979 The Care Bear Family 1986-1988 The Catanooga Cats 1969-1971 Crow 1993-1995 Curiosity Shop 1971-1972 Darkwing Duck 1991 to 1993 Devlin 1974 to 1976 Disney's Doug 1996 to 2001 DuckTales 1997 Dudley Do Right 1969-1970 Dumb and Dumber the animated series 1995-1996 Dynamite Dog Wonder 1976 to 1978 the Emperor's New School 2006 to 2011 reruns of Disney Channel series Even Stevens 2001 2002 2005 reruns of Disney Channel series Fangface 1978 to 1980 Fantastic Four 1967 to 1970 Fantastic Voyage 1968 to 1970 Fillmore 2002 to 2005 Flash Forward 1996-1997 the Flintstone Kids 1986 to 1988 Fonz and the Happy Days Gang 1980 to 1982 Free Willy 1994 to 1996 Fudge 1995-1996 The Funky Phantom 1971 to 1973 Gargoyles The Goliath Chronicles 1996-1997 George of the Jungle 1967 to 1970 1997 Goldie Gold and Action Jack 1981-1982 Goober and the Ghost Chasers 1973 Goof Troop 1992-1993 The Great Grape Ape Show 1975-1976 The Groovy Ghoulies reruns from 1971 to 1972 CBS series 1975-1976 Hammerman 1991-1992 Hannah Montana 2006 to 2011 reruns of Disney Channel series The Hardy Boys 1969 to 1971 Heathcliff 1980 to 1984 Heathcliff 1984 to 1986 HELP 1979 Hercules the animated series 1998-1999 Here come the double deckers 1970 to 1972 Hong Kong Fui 1974 to 1976 Hopper Hooper 1964 to 1967 Hot Wheels 1969 to 1971 House of Mouse 2001 2002 HR Hustuff 1972-1973 reruns of the 1969 NBC series Jabberjaw 1976 to 1978 The Jackson 5 I 1971 to 1973 The Jetsons 1963-1964 reruns of the 1962-1963 primetime series Johnny Quest 1970 to 1972 repeats of the 1964-1965 primetime series Journey to the Center of the Earth 1967 to 1969 Jungle Cubs 1996 to 19 
1998, Junior Almost Anything Goes, 1976 to 1978, Kid Power, 1972 to 1974, Kim Possible, 2002 to 2006, reruns a Disney Channel series. The King Kong Show, 1966 to 1969; Croft Super Show, 1976 to 1978; Laugh A Olympics, 1977 to 1979; 1986; Lancelot Link, Secret Chimp, 1970 to 1972; Land of the Lost, 1991–1992; Lassie's Rescue Rangers, 1973 to 1975; Laverne and Shirley in the Army, 1981–1982; Lidsville, 1971 to 1973; Lilo and Stitch: The Series, 2003 to 2006. Linus the Lionhearted 1966 to 1969 repeats of the 1964 to 1966 CBS series Little Clowns of Happy Town 1987-1988 The Little Rascals 1982 to 1984 Little Rosie 1990-1991 The Littles 1983 to 1986 Lizzie McGuire 2001 to 2005 reruns a Disney Channel series Load in Space 2001-2002 The Lost Saucer 1975-1976 Madeline 1995 1996, The Magic Land of Alakazam, 1962 to 1964, Magic Ranch, 1961 1962, The Magilla Gorilla Show, 1965 to 1967, Make a Face, 1962 1963, Make a Wish, 1971 to 1976, Mary Kate and Ashley in Action, 2001 2002, Matty's Funday Funnies, 1960 to 1962, Menudo on ABC, 1983 to 1985, The Mickey Mouse Club, 1955 to 1959, Mickey Mouse. Works 1999 2000 Mighty Ducks 1996 1997 Mighty Orbots 1984 1985 Milton the Monster 1965 to 1968 Mission Magic 1973 1974 Monchiches 1983 1984 The Monkeys 1972 1973 Repeats of the 1966 to 1968 NBC series Mork and Mindy Laverne and Shirley Fonzauer 1982 1983 The Mumbly Cartoon Show 1976 1977 my Friend Flicker, 1962-1964, repeats of the 1956-1957 primetime series, My Pet Monster, 1987-1988, NBA and Side Stuff, 2002-2004, The New Adventures of Gilligan, 1974-1977, The New Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, 1988-1993, 1996-2002, The New Casper Cartoon Show, 1963-1970, New Kids on the Block, 1990-1991, Nightmare Ned, 1997, the Oddball Couple, 1975 to 1977, On Your Mark, 1961 1962, One Saturday Morning, 1997 to 2002, The Osmonds, 1972 to 1974, Pac Man, 1982 to 1984, Pepper Ann, 1997 to 2001, Peter Potamus, 1966 1967, New episodes combined with repeats of the 1964 syndicated series, Phil of the Future, 2004 to 2006, reruns a Disney Channel series. The Pirates at Dark Water, 1991-1992, The Plastic Man Comedy, Adventure Show, 1979-1981, Pound Puppies, 1985-1989, Power Rangers, 2002-2010, The Proud Family, 2002-2006, reruns a Disney Channel series. The Puppies Further Adventures, 1982-1984, The Real Ghostbusters, 1986-1991, Reboot, 1994-1995, Recess, 1997-2004, The Reluctant Dragon and Mr. Toad Show, 1970-1971, The Replacements, 2006-2011, reruns of Disney Channel series, Richie Rich, 1980-1984, The Road Runner Show, 1971-1973, repeats of the 1966-1968 CBS series, Rocky and Bullwinkle, 1959-1961, 1964-1973, Rubik, The Amazing Cube, 1983-1985, Sabrina, The Animated Series, 1999-2001, Schoolhouse Rock 1973 to 1986, 1992 to 2000, Science Court 1997 to 2000, Scooby Doo, all series from the Scooby Doo Dynamite Hour to a pup named Scooby Doo, 1976 to 1986, 1988 to 1993, Shenanigans 1964 1965, Skyhawks 1969 to 1971, The Smokey the Bear Show 1969 1970, Sonic the Hedgehog 1993 1994, re-aired until 1995. 
Speed Buggy 1975-1976, reruns of the 1973 CBS series Spider-Man 1967-1970, Spider-Woman 1979-1980, Squiggle Vision 1998-1999, Star Wars Droids 1985-1986, Star Wars Ewoks 1985-1987, Star Wars Rebels 2014, The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody 2005-2011, reruns of Disney Channel series Super Friends 1973 to 1986, Tailspin 1990 to 1992, Tales from the Cryptkeeper 1993-1994, Teacher's Pet 2000 to 2002, Timo Supremo 2002-2003, Tennessee Tuxedo and His Tales 1964 to 1966, repeats of the 1963-1964 CBS series That's So Raven 2003 to 2011, reruns of Disney Channel series These Are the Days 1974 to 1976, Thunder the Barbarian 1980 to 1982, The Tom and Jerry Show 1975 to 1977, Top Cat 1962-1963, repeats of the 1961-1962 primetime series Turbo Teen 1984-1985, Uncle Croc's Block 1975-1976, The Weekenders 2000 to 2002, What a Mess 1995-1996, Wild West COW Boys of Moo Mesa 1992 to 1994, Will the Real Jerry Lewis Please Sit Down 1970 to 1972, WITCH. 2005 reruns of 2004 to 2006 Toon Disney series. The Wizard of Oz, 1990-1991. Wolf Rock TV, 1984. The Wuzzles, 1986-1987. Repeats of the 1985-1986 CBS series. Yogi's Gang, 1973-1975. Topic Saturday Morning Preview Specials 1972 Preview Special hosted by the Brady Kids from the Brady Bunch 1973 Sneak Peek hosted by Avery Schreiber and Jack Burns 1974 Funshine Saturday hosted by Lee Majors from the Six Million Dollar Man 1975 Funshine Saturday hosted by Jim Neighbors and Ruth Buzzy from the Lost Saucer 1976 Sneak Peek hosted by Jimmy Osman featuring Chris Kirby, Dick Clark, Captain Cool and the Kongs, Marty Allen and the Osmonds 1977 All Star Saturday hosted by Captain Cool and the Kongs, featuring Lenny Weinrub, Meadowlark Lemon, Robert Hegeyes, Sean Cassidy and the Croftettes 1978 All-Star Saturday, hosted by Jimmy McNichol and Christy McNichol, featuring Adam Rich, Danielle Spencer, Donnie Most, Donnie Osmond, Haywood Nelson, Joey Travolta and Marie Skibb 1982 Pack Preview Party, hosted by Dick Clark 1983, hosted by Dick Clark 1984 Preview Park, hosted by Weird Al Yankovic, featuring Wolfman Jack, Scooby-Doo and Scrappy-Doo 1985 Saturday Sneak Peek and Fun Fit Test, hosted by Tony Danza, featuring Mary Lou Retton and the droids of Star Wars 1988, hosted by the cast of Mr. Belvedere 1989 Perfectly Strange Saturday Morning Preview, hosted by the cast of Perfect Strangers 1990, hosted by Roseanne Barr and cast of Family Matters 1991, hosted by the cast of Family Matters 1992, hosted by the cast of Step by Step 1993, hosted by the cast of Hangin' with Mr. Cooper 1994 Whole New Level of Fun, hosted by the cast of Boy Meets World 1995 Saturday Morning Jam, hosted by Gary Owens, Marquise Wilson, Raven Simone and Zachary Ty Bryan 1996 Preview Party, hosted by Melissa Joan Hart, featuring Ian Ziering and the casts of Bone Chillers and Flash Forward 1997 One Saturday Morning, hosted by Charlie, played by Jessica Prunell 1998 One Saturday Morning on Friday Night, hosted by Meme, played by Valeri Ray Miller and Salem from ABC Sabrina, The Teenage Witch 1999 One Saturday Morning on Friday Night, hosted by Meme, played by Valeri Ray Miller Topic. See also Children's programming on CBS Children's programming on NBC Lists of United States network television schedules, includes articles on Saturday morning children's programming schedules among the major networks.